hi friends um so this is my soap uh as a lot of you already know i um i have a candle making company now called paper moon chandlery and i figured since i was over here prepping i'd bring you guys in and let you see so what did they say this is not a candle making tutorial but it is a whole lot of tips that i'm going to share with you that help me so um they said do a double boiler and melt your wax <laughs> hell no nobody has time for all that man <laughs> i hated that and i even because i started in my kitchen and gabriel started giving me eyes like uh, -uh don't even start <laughs> bringing stuff up in this kitchen so i got a little hot plate and a single eye hot plate it, it took forever to do a double boiler so i'm just like no you know what i'm getting a presto pot got this from amazon this was like 30 bucks um some people even get jazzy and put a, a spigot on it i ain't doing that this works just fine so um i am no candle making pro I do well for my candles. I test all my candles. All my my candles have good hot and cold throw. So I will tell you that you, I, candle making is a lot like soap making. For those who are new to my channel, I'm a soap maker. But uh, it's not one certain recipe. I can't tell you, oh, this is what you do and now you have a candle. It's a lot of different methods to making candles. Candles aren't as easy as you think. People, and I thought that you were supposed to just, um, do like I'm doing, chop up some wax, melt it, throw some fragrance in there, and hey, voila, you got a candle. Nope, that ain't how it works. <laughs> what you do have is something that looks like a candle, but it may not work like a candle just because um, you got to have a good hot and cold throw. What is cold throw? Cold throw is when your candles are not lit and they're just sitting there and you walk by, like when you go in the store and you walk by a candle and it kind of reaches out and grab you, that's a cold throw. A hot throw is when you light your candle and how it dispersed all around the room and makes everything smell really nice. So you have to know how to do that. You have to pour at certain temperatures. Um, you have to add your fragrance at a certain temperature. And I mean, it's a lot to it. So I can give you, what I will do, is give you two people that I learned from and I studied everything they said and they helped me out greatly. Number one is Stanley Candles. He's awesome. He is a wealth of information. And the other one is Timber Ridge uh, Candles. He's awesome too. So I actually will um, put both of their channels in the description box below because I learned a lot for those two guys. Now, um, you can buy your wax and chips or chunks like this. I like this. Um, I like them both, honestly. I don't really have a preference. Um, so this is just what I do. I melt it all down and then I take, I got this little system here. I was using this knife earlier to cut and then I forgot I had this. So I just take this, dip it in, and then pour it into my candles. And then this is my tin, which I need to wash. Um, and how I wash this, it's not good to pour candle wax down your drains. That's a no-no. So what I like to do, um, although this is a soy, uh, soy base, I will heat it up and then take a napkin and clean it out and keep it moving. That's what I do. So <laughs> this is my pour picture. You can get these on Amazon too. I got this on Amazon. Was it uh, very expensive at all? I get everything from Amazon, okay? So, um, yeah. Remember, temperatures, temperatures matter. Uh, when you put your coloring in, when you put your fragrance in, when you pour, how fast you pour, how slow you pour. So <laughs> all of that truly, truly matters if you want a good candle. Wick sizes, um, those matter. When you want to um, get your tins or your look of your candle, you have to get the proper wick size because if you don't get the proper wick size, guess what? You're going to get a very small burn pool. Um, or you might get no good cold throw, I mean hot throw. A burn pool is like when the wax melts and it pools out around the inside of the candle. Do we have any candles over here? Yeah, let me grab one. So this is my smoky maple bacon. <laughs> um, so you want to uh, learn about candle uh, jar adhesion. Adhesion, 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 adhesion. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is like you see how my candle is sticking to the sides that's what you want to get especially if you're using glass 
there's a such thing called wet spots wet spots are if you ever saw a candle in a store and it's like dark in some spots and light in others that's basically where the candle didn't really adhere to the mold very well i mean the the jar um there is what is it called frosting yeah frosting on top of your candle i don't have one to show you what frosting looks like um but uh, frosting is like this really crazy frosted look on top of your candle once you pour. You can just take a heat gun. Um, I don't know if a hair dryer works. I've never tried it because I have a heat gun. But you can take a heat gun and just remelt it and then the frosting nine times out of ten goes away. I cannot speak for all types of wax. There are many, many different types of wax and that's another thing you need to know. I know I'm blowing through this uh, video and get throwing out a lot of information here but... Um, and that's another thing you need to know what type of wax you're using what type of, if you want to do a pillar candle if you want to do a jar candle if you want to do large candles if you want to do wooden wicks cotton wicks zinc wicks all kinds of wicks there are tons and tons and tons of wicks so i'm telling you all this because i want to save you the headache of thinking or if you go and buy all this stuff and think you're going to start a candle making business and you're just going to pour some wax in and you got a candle no that's not how it works <laughs> um some people may have been lucky um but i just want to tell you the proper way to do it you know just so you'll save yourself a headache in the end i think this is all that's going to fit in this pot um i got my supplies from the flaming candle candle science and who else i want to say nature nature's garden I think yeah so uh, I get my my wicks and waxes and um, fragrances from all three I've tried all different kinds until I found what I liked best um, yeah just ch um, search nature's garden or candle science or the flaming candle um, I'm not gonna provide links you can just simply just listen to what I'm saying <laughs> don't google it but yeah so, oh, and also the temperature that you melt your wax at affects your candles as well. You really have to know all of this stuff. I can't provide you with all of it because everybody recipe is different. Everybody way of making candles is different. Maybe you want to use glass. Maybe you want to use larger candle uh, jars. I don't know. I feel very comfortable with my little eight ounce uh, tins. That's what I like. Um, will I go up bigger or a different style? I'm pretty sure down the line but um right now i'm pretty happy with these and also other guidelines you have to follow just like with everything that you sell you have to make sure that you put your warning labels on the bottom uh, so people won't burn themselves or hurt themselves or anything like that you also have to know how long to cut your wicks so it is a lot of knowledge that you need to know in order to make candles so hopefully i just saved you a whole heck of a lot of trouble um, i'm gonna go ahead and wash out my stuff and start making candles myself like I said, I can't really tell you, but I will tell you the two guys that taught me how to do what I did. And you just take notes and you play around and you test and test and test and test and test. And keep on testing until you perfect your candle making skills. And if you don't want to do that, you can simply buy them from me. Because <laughs> I do make candles, as you can see. And they smell really good. And I, I think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. I've had good feedback since I've been making them. Um, I took them all to my craft fair. Uh i think that was back in november of 2018 and they all sold out so um i'm just restocking and creating some new so if you have any questions uh don't ask me no <laughs> that's terrible <laughs> but i i gave you as much information i think that can get you started but definitely check out stanley candles and timber ridge those guys are freaking amazing all right bye